So I want to show you guys the difference between good gas and bad gas. So we're going to do a good weld right here. And then we'll do a very shitty weld right here. This will be good gas. This will be bad gas. Both of the gas cylinders are weld mix 7525. And both of them were got from a company here in Midland. Uh, normally I get good gas from them, but every now and then you get a bad batch of gas. You get bad gas. Jose? So keep in mind, I am not a welder. I'm a welder repair technician, but that's not too bad. There's some undercut there, but we're not worried about that right now. We're worried about porosity due to bad gas. So we've got this tank hooked up to a very shitty welder. Don't buy this. Now we're gonna hook up this tank. Jose, you wanna swap them over? We did swap the regulators just in case for some weird reason the regulator is what was giving us contamination but that's definitely not the deal this tank right here that i just got is contaminated gas this tank that i've had for a while has always been good to me and she's still acting good and this isn't this isn't just limited to one gas supplier this happens to all gas suppliers sometimes you get bad batches of gas so don't go changing gas companies or gas suppliers because you think they got trash gas sometimes people just get trash gas got her tight jose mm -hmm. swap me turn this guy on turn it through open now that dude can shake the shit up Ready? Yeah. You can already hear it. I can see a plume. I can see an orange plume coming off of the gas. It's definitely contaminated. Look at the dull color of the metal. Look at all the porosity inside there. And we changed, pointed at the machine, we changed nothing on the machine. Voltage and wire feed speed are exactly the same across both bodies. The only difference is the gas. And like I said, uh, we use both regulators just to rule out the regulators. This tank is the one giving us our porosity. So we're gonna take it back and get another tank. No big deal, happens. Take it easy.